My name is Tom Marsik. I'm a sustainable energy faculty at the University of Alaska Fairbanks Bristol Bay campus in Dillingham. And I'm Kristen Donaldson, Tom's wife, and together we built this extremely energy efficient home. It was built using a special technique that was developed by the Sustainable Energy Program at the UAF Bristol Bay campus and it was developed specifically for this purpose, for uh, building an extremely uh, insulated and an extremely tight building. And today we are going to test how tight really this house is. Uh, this is a world record attempt, uh, the purpose of that is to uh, help bring awareness to energy efficient buildings and hopefully encourage other people to build energy efficient and uh, we are honored to have several witnesses here. One of our witnesses is the mayor of the city of Dillingham, Alice Ruby. Sorry. <laughs> And then another witness is Gordon Isaacs. Uh, Gordon is a building analyst uh, with a national certification from the Building Performance Institute. Uh, Gordon is also the uh, owner of Alaska West Supply, that's a supply, su supply store, and uh, Dillingham Builders, a general contracting company. And uh, Gordon will be the one doing the blow order test today. Uh, so, with, with that, I'm going to explain how we're going to measure the air tightness of this house. It's going to be done using the blower door test, as I, uh, as I mentioned before. And what the blower door does, it depressurizes the house to uh, 50 pascals less than the outside pressure, and, and then it measures the flow that is needed to maintain this differential pressure of 50 pascals. Uh, the door comes with a special attachment that we call the ring E and uh, that's uh, and a special attachment that's, uh, that allows to measure very low flows, so uh, flows down to 11 cubic feet per minute. Uh, however, uh, from our past measurements we know that uh, the flow that's needed in this extremely tight house to maintain the differential pressure of 50 pascals is significantly less than 11 cubic feet per minute. So if we were using this ring E, uh, we would end up with a reading that's below the calibrated range of this ring. So the energy conservator, that's the manufacturer of this blower door, they're a great company to work with. They made a custom ring for us. They made a ring F and they calibrated it and they donated it to our project. So now we have a ring F and I can show for comparison. It's now installed in, in the blower door so you can see how ring F is significantly smaller than the ring E and it's installed here in the blower door. So the air from the house will be uh, pulled through this little holes, stuck through this little hole in the, in the ring F. As you can see we, could, we took some additional measures. We, we taped all the rings on the blower door to uh, reduce the chance of leakage uh, through the gaps between those rings. Also, we taped the whole blower door on the outside uh, to eliminate the chance or at least reduce the chance of extra leakage through the blower door itself. So, so we want uh, uh, all the flow to go through this little hole because that's where we can measure the flow. And with that, I think we are ready to start the blower door test. Okay, so now we're ready to start the test. We're going to set it on cruise control so that the computer does some automatic uh, adjusting here. And um, we want the cruise pressure set at 50 pascals. So it's going to automatically try to get to that. It prompts me to cover the hole so it can do some pre-test measurements here. And I put tape over that hole. It's now sampling 100 samples and it will average those samples, which it has now already done. 
take the tape back off. And we have ring E identified here with the new parameters for the ring F. Proceed with the cruise. Now I'm going to override the cruise initially here because with that very small hole it takes a long time to get the building down to pressure. Pascals, negative 50 pascals for the building pressure here. And as it gets closer to that, I'm going to turn it, bring it back, and let it take over. With that very small hole, it takes a while to depressurize even this type of house. We're getting close. Back, let it take over about there. We overshot a little bit, so it'll take a, a little bit to uh, for it to stabilize and figure out what speed to run the fan at to keep it at, at that pressure. Right now we're about 53 pascals and dropping with a fan flow of 5 to 6 cubic feet per minute. The cruise control is searching for what speed it needs to run the fan at to maintain negative 50 pascals. We're getting very close there. It's 51.5, 50.5, 50.5, 50.5. Bouncing back and forth just a little bit, but it's becoming quite stable here at 5 cubic feet per minute. Now all the air that goes out through that hole, the 5 cubic feet per minute, is all the air that is leaking in from all leaks everywhere in this house. That's not much. Still searching a little bit, it will continue to search a little bit because there, there's a little bit of a breeze outside which will vary things slightly. Our fan flow jumped up to 6 cubic feet per minute. We've been doing some practice tests here, and that's about where it's been hanging between four or five or six cubic feet per minute to maintain 50 pascals, and it's still doing exactly that. It's at five cubic feet per minute at 50 pascals right now. Our air changes per hour at 50 pascals is calculated at 0.05. That is phenomenally low. Tom, I knew you did a fantastic job in sealing this house, but I don't know how you got that tight. It's, it's way, way tighter than anything I've ever tested before. In fact, I, I don't think I've tested anything below 0.5, not much less 0.05. So you, as the certified person doing this blower test, what is the final paper going to say for the air changes per hour at 50 pascals? It'll say 0 0.05. 0 0.05 yep. air changes per hour at 50 pascals. Thank you so much for coming to this test press.